Hi future scientist I hope you all are well and the things are going quite well for you So so many students are asking me that it would be good if I prepare a YouTube video of my PhD journey So yeah here it is if you are asking me something I will make it for you I thought that it would be good so that you can learn from my experience and you can maybe work on it and don't do the mistakes what i have done so i don't know so let's start with the video directly okay so the first question that this guy asked me that how i decided to do phd so to be honest i never thought that phd is for me i don't want to discourage you or make you feel that i don't like this phd i love it but in the starting if i go to my 12th standard i really have no idea and i really didn't know what is this phd mean it's just with time with so many experiences i come to know that this is what i need to do so let's go back to my 12th class so i am basically from uttar pradesh if n- you don't know i am from uttar pradesh state india and i have done my studies till 12th standard from asha modern school saranpur yes saranpur is my hometown so till 12th i was like all the people from the you know small cities that if you are in an iit then your life would be great and you will get everything you want so like that i was also wanted to do engineering and i have given iit j exam if you are from the science pcm background like science tech, science maths physics then you know about it so i really worked hard for that iit j exam but i didn't clear it so yeah it was discouraging at that time so i thought i have two options maybe i will drop my year and go to kota as so many students go there to get a better score but the second thing what i think that i can do chemistry yeah because that time in 11 12th uh, in these out of these physics chemistry and maths chemistry is the one that makes me crazy and here crazy means that it's very interesting to for me so so yes chemistry is interesting to me and i decided that i'm not dropping my year and i will do something in chemistry so i started searching for the best universities in chemistry everywhere and i started searching what jobs i can get after chemistry after so many things but because you know you have to tell your parents you are doing chemistry why what are the future options what's and for uh, telling the answers of this ma- this many questions i was too young i think so yeah before giving any second thought i just started my bsc in chemistry from delhi university hindu college i think some of you might be familiar with delhi universities so i started my bachelor's in 2017 and hindu college gave me so much experiences so much exposure that i started to like chemistry more but subconsciously there is still an urge to go into an iit i am really honest here i really wanted to go in in iit i wanted to see how the people there how i don't know so that time i asked my teachers that i really wanted to do msc chemistry so can you guide me how i can do it from iit so as you all know that there is as you all know who are from india that there is an exam iit jam for maths chemistry and physics so yes i wanted to do that exam iit jam for chemistry 
So yes, in my third year of BSc, I started preparing for that because I was sure that I wanted to learn more in chemistry and it would be good if that I will do from an IIT so that I can get more exposure and my dream to work, not work, to study in IIT come true. So yes, I started coaching from Chem Academy. Maybe if you are living in Delhi, you are familiar with Chem Academy. So yes, after my coaching and after giving IIT exam, oh my God, it was so hard. I think all the people who have given this, I'll say IIT exams, either it's JAM or either it's J, they are so tough. So yeah, that, for, that was really so tough for me. And I hardly managed to clear the cutoff so that I am not, that's why I'm not in the top IITs because it was too hard for me. So obviously after giving the IIT JAM exam, I was so discouraged that maybe I will not get it because you know, at that time everyone wants to go in IIT Bombay or IIT Madras, the top university, the top IITs. But that's not the case for me because I just passed my cutoff and I landed in IIT Jodhpur. And to be honest, in the starting, I was not happy because uh, IIT Jodhpur is so new IIT. So I thought maybe the exposure I get there won't be better than the top IITs. But I was completely wrong. You know, if I look back in my life, there's so many things that happened just to make li they make my life more better. And I don't know, I'm saying this in between, but if something has happened to you right now, so it's for the better only. Because if I look my life back, then everything happened is just for better. So yes, let's get back and not get, don't get distracted. So I landed in IIT Jodhpur and it was COVID time. So I can't go to the IIT in the first year of my uh, first year of my masters but I am sure that I want to do something in chemistry so at the COVID times as you all know we are we are all so free so I again started surfing and seeing what are the options in which I can do chemistry more better and I have no idea about the research at that time because research is you know in India you get more research in the IITs. Universities are good and I'm not saying that universities don't provide you with such good research experience, would not provide you, but in IITs they are mainly for research. So I didn't know research that time till my master started and that's in 2021 I landed in IIT Jodhpur and I started my uh, project. So when I was doing my project, so my project is basically in catalysis, heterogeneous catalysis and my, my supervisor was working mainly on sustainability, how to make this world a more sustainable place. So whatever he is using in his lab is just uh, for making the environment better, not making it worse by chemicals and by making it just better. So I really get fascinated by the idea that how with chemistry we can make this world a better place. So that time I was working with clay, so like clay, which is so natural. And I am um, taking that clay to make a catalyst and using it in very organic transformation reactions. So I thought this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I want to do something in that. and. At that time, I also interested in making carbon dioxide utilization by some technology that is plasma technology, but I didn't get the chance to do it in the IIT Jodhpur because we didn't have that equipment, but I wanted to do something to utilize carbon dioxide as carbon dioxide is a major cause for global warming and to utilize it in making something better. 
like fuels and chemicals because at that time i have idea and i have mind so that i can think what i want to do in my life so yes i thought okay if i didn't get the chance to do it in it jodhpur i will see in some other places so i contacted my supervisor and then he suggested me india is good but if you do it from the abroad then you will get more chances more opportunities more exposure so yes then i decided that i am going to do phd and for sure in new carbon dioxide utilization and that time i was not sure with which technology because that time i just studied about the plasma technology but i started searching with all the carbon utilization positions available by using catalyst and by any technology maybe thermal electrochemical plasma so i started applying and i apply, i started applying in i think it's in october 2021 and i got approval from the university of sare in 2022 so yes it took nearly 8 months to get what i want so that requires lot of patience it's not an easy journey in the starting i didn't know what to do so i was applying in all the countries uk europe us what not so that was really hard because you know you don't know anything but you have to tackle so many things and i don't have any internship i think i don't have any research experience because my research started in the covid times so i have very low chances to get so but still my supervisor and my friends and colleagues really supported me a lot in that time and without giving any second thought i was just applying i was just applying to every university related to carbon dioxide utilization as that was my interest so yeah and i applied i got so many rejections also i got approval also but i think university of sare is for me because before that i applied to other places i got i got offer also but there's something that is not matching something or another that's not uh, that's not on the right path so i got discouraged before getting this offer i got rejection i was so discouraged maybe i will not get it but you know you not you should not lose hope and you should trust on yourself till the end because if you are not getting any email that means it's neutral it can be positive or it can be negative too so you just need to hope for the best and just keep doing your work so that's what i was doing at that time i was just applying i was focusing on my project and i was applying like like anything so yes so i got the offer letter on april as i told you and then it was quite easy everything is, and i got it from the university of sare which is a very big university and i am working on the project i want carbon dioxide utilization and right now it's by thermochemical conversion by using thermo technology and i am making catalyst which is a very new field by x solution catalyst so i am not going into the research area because it's different for different people it's just for me so yes it's like this and now i am here doing my phd living my uk life but to be honest it was quite hard at that time i didn't know how to apply what to do so that's why i created this youtube channel so that i can help you and you can make more better decisions than me so that i am making everything because i started so late in october if i would have started early then i would have applied for the more scholarships but i'm not going into that because now i really got the position but i'm saying like it would be more better so that's why i made the video so that you know that at what timeline you should start at what timeline you should finish everything so yes that's was my 
major decision to open this youtube channel and i hope this youtube channel is helping you and i am always there to clear your doubts and one piece of advice that i wanted to give you is uh, please decide which university you want to go not university which country you want to go because each country has different deadlines and different uh, procedure to to take students for the phd so i was really late to decide in which country i want to go because you know i was troubleshooting in all countries where it's the best for me but if you decided before then the things would be more easy and better but obviously you always take your chance because maybe this country will not give you what you want in that country so just see your project in which project you are interested and in which country you want to go and uh, i think it would be fine and other thing is yes don't be discouraged if you are not an iitian or if you are not uh, if you are not an iitian or if you don't have any internship if you are good if your basics are good then you will get it you just need a research experience little bit maybe from your university or from your institute and a good knowledge because in interview they just see your knowledge they don't care if you have used equipments before or not because they give you training when you reach there they just want that you just know a little bit about what this instrument is or what do you want to do in your phd like this and it's easy it's easy for the interviewers to see if you are really wanted to do phd or not so yes don't be take don't take it so seriously i mean take it seriously but don't get overwhelmed okay just keep trying your best and just give your best if it's meant for you it will come to you and this is life is all about so yeah that's it that's my journey i think not so bad but i really learned a lot of experiences in this time and maybe your experience is different but still what i will say that if you have something in your mind and you want to achieve that then no thing can stop you if you want to achieve that so just work hard for that thing because i am here because i was working hard to to do research in this area and yes that's why i got it and i will highly recommend you that please select your research area right now so that in the future and when you are doing your phd you won't be overwhelmed because your expertise in that area is really important if you are doing phd so yes that's all and if you have so there are so many other questions also but i will keep them for later because this is really a very big video for now and please let me know if you have another questions for me i will be happy to answer that and for now bye bye and i hope that you all get in your dream university is really because i know how that feels okay bye bye